What's going on guys? So today's video is my physique obtainable naturally and before I get into this um, I think that people have a weird misconception of what's obtainable naturally and what isn't and it's going to be different depending on who you are. So there are certain people that genetically can just put on a lot of muscle and build a lot of strength just naturally. That's just their genetics. There are guys out there that are 220 pounds shredded six feet tall 200, maybe 240 pounds shred at six feet tall can bench 500 pounds. Those guys probably those guys exist. And um, is it average? No. So here's what I'm gonna say: Is my physique obtainable naturally? It depends on who you are. And the reality is, is that there are people that I know on steroids that are smaller than me. And I know people that are natural that are bigger than me. So basically, what it comes down to is stop comparing yourself to everybody else and start actually comparing yourself to your old version of yourself. So what's obtainable naturally for everybody is going to be completely different. And you're going to kind of figure out where that where that probably is as you get farther into your lifting career. If you've been working out for three years consistently you're, and you actually followed a real training program, you're already fully developed. If you're 14 years old, you're still growing, 16 years old, whatever, different story. Um, I know when I walked in the gym for the first time, I was 14 years old. It was like 95 pounds. Could barely bench press 95 pounds. Could barely, I don't even know if I could squat 135. But I could deadlift two plates because like naturally I'm as good at deadlifts. So that right off the bat you have an idea when you walk in the gym what you're good at, what you're not good at. And then as you get fully developed, once you're full grown, after about two years, you'll probably be about 80% of maybe even more. I'm going to say 80% of what you can naturally do muscle-wise. So you start working out and you put on 20 pounds in your first two years, well, you're probably only going to gain probably another 10 pounds, let's say, um, maximum. So just keep that in mind. And when I say to another 10 pounds, staying at the, both the same body fat percentage. So you have to account for fat gain as well. Just keep that in the back of your head. That my numbers aren't completely skewed there. Um, so basically where I'm going with this is stop comparing yourself to everyone you see on the internet because... At the end of the day, you don't know who's natural and who's not. People lie about it because, you know what? Nobody's going to sit on the internet and say, I'm on steroids. Because, for a lot of reasons. First of all, it's illegal in most countries. And second of all, people have a weird misconception of what is natural. Because there's different degrees of enhancement. This is something that really bothers me. Because you take certain guys that are on, I don't know, 4 grams of gear. Plus insulin, plus IGF-1, plus whatever the heck else they're taking. And they're, they say that they're running low dosages. That's what they'll say. They're like, yeah, I take steroids, but I don't take a lot. And then people have this misconception that everybody on steroids should look like that. And when in reality, the average steroid user does not have a 25 fat-free mass index. The average steroid user has about a 22 fat-free mass index, 20, between 22 and 24, I'm pretty sure. And they did a study in the UK, for instance. Um, they surveyed people, guys in gyms. And one in every three guys in a gym had or was using um, steroids or pro hormones of some sort or had in the past. That's pretty significant. And take a look around your average gym. A lot of guys use steroids. A lot of guys don't look that impressive. And the reason is, is because you're not going to get these magic results when you go on a normal dose of, let's say, testosterone or anything else. And that's why these guys continue to claim natural because... Everybody that's claiming natural, most of them, especially on YouTube, are running low dosages of steroids. And um, it kind of skews people's misconceptions. People have these crazy ideas that I'm going to hop on a cycle, I'm going to gain 50 pounds. I'm going to hop on a cycle, I'm going to gain 30 pounds of muscle. Um, it's probably not going to happen. If that's something you're going to do, you have to seriously do your research before you go down that road and understand the risk associated with it. I think so many kids nowadays jump into things naive. And they're naive about what they're doing to their body. Anything that you add, put in your body is harmful. Any positive has its negative. And you have to be aware of this. And unless you've been training for, I'm not a doctor, I'm not recommending anybody use steroids, I'm not recommending that at all. But if you go down that road, do your research. And definitely just don't listen to the guy in the gym that tells you this is a good idea. Please go talk to your doctor, go get your blood work done. If you're going to do it, do it right. And anyway... My point, going back to, is my physique obtainable naturally? It depends. 
So there, that's all I'm going to say about that. But um, stop comparing yourself to everyone else. If you have a similar physique to me, then that's a different story. Then maybe you compare yourself to me. But I'm not going to compare myself to Bradley Martin and be like, oh, if I go on, if I take a stereotype that's exactly like Bradley Martin, I'm going to look like Bradley Martin. Sorry, that's not how it works. Everyone's genetics are different. So just remember that. And um, just, I don't want people to get hurt. And I think a lot of people think that they have to go on steroids to get any type of physique, and it's not true. You can build a really good physique naturally. You can be strong, you can be athletic. And at the end of the day, it's not going to help you in any other aspect of your life. Unless, you're, unless your career is in the fitness industry, going on steroids is probably not going to help you that much at all, with any. Um, let's be honest, women don't really care. Most women don't really care about you being a little bit bigger and stronger and at the same time when you're on steroids normally you just get really obsessed with yourself you don't really care about anyone else so if your goal is to get women that's not a good reason to use steroids if you have a reason if you have a reason you better have a really good one and you like don't be naive about it and don't think that it's going to help you in other aspects of your life because it's not and too many people go into it the wrong way and think that it's this magic solution, they're gonna get all these great gains. It doesn't work like that, you still have to train hard, you still have to eat right, and you can't, you can't just think that you're gonna take a shot and you're gonna be Mr. Olympia. I'm sorry, that's not the reality of the situation. If you look like shit now and you go on steroids, you're gonna just be a bigger version of that. And if you already look good, you already know how to train, you already know what to eat, and then you enhance it, then you're gonna be you're gonna be a better version, a bigger, a bigger version of what you already were. So if you're shredded and you have good muscle bellies and you're full and you're athletic and you're strong, it's gonna make that, it's gonna enhance that. If you're fat and you're not really that strong and you don't know to eat, well, you're just gonna be a bigger version of fat. And you're gonna have all kinds of side effects and high estrogen levels and all kinds of other problems that you don't really want to that nobody wants to deal with. So don't think it's a magic solution. Please, that's all I wanted to get across in this video. And sorry, it was kind of clickbaity title, but um, I think that's, that's something that needs to be talked about. I don't think people talk about it enough. It's really hushed up because most people on steroids will never admit to it. And they can't because this industry is so messed up with this idea that guys like Jeff Side and all this stuff are natural. Bullshit. Let's be completely realistic. If you're in the IFBB, there's no way that you are natural. And I know IFBB pros, I know people that compete at a high level, and believe me, not possible. I'm just telling you that. So anyway, I appreciate the support. Comment your thoughts down below, and um, yeah, comment your goals, etc. Maybe if you have you something, let me know what your experiences were. Let other people know in the comment section down below so that um, they can learn. Anyway, I appreciate the support, and um, I will talk to you guys soon.